Hello everybody, this is again Sohan Padke, a uh, FIDE master and uh, we are back into the series Flame into Fire where I am going to show you how to create an attack rather than showing how to find a win from a winning position. So I am going to show you how to create an attack that means how to create the flame and then how to convert into fire. So this is again I uh, always, uh, I mean first few games I want to insist on my own games this is my game I played in 2019 against one 1700 player uh, in Cochin and uh, this is a French defense and uh, sorry and uh, Black just played the Muji 5 and uh, this is something called French Macuchen uh, line Macuchen something I don't know some sharp line so yeah I played the Mu H4 and this is very logical, so I want to break this. And here, black is a little ambitious, and he played the move H5. Now, I have a, I, now I have a chance to create the flame. Uh, and uh, if I am not that key, maybe I can break something. Like Queen F3, I think. I think this is somewhat theory. Something like this. This comes after something like this, and maybe bishop. This is generally played, all right. But uh, again, uh, whenever I get, if I get, if you get a chance to create some fire, you should go for it. So white played the move. I mean, can you find the move for white? Okay, you should be a little bold. Uh, of course, this is. This is a game played. Uh, this this is a theory, modern theory, uh, long back by Alexei Shirov, who found this queen sacrifice a little bit, not exactly positional, but sort of a positional queen sacrifice, which creates a lot of initiative for white. And uh, of course, I studied this game, and I would love to create any chances which are possible to create an attack. And of course, I played it onto h uh, g5 and bam so i am sacrificing the queen it looks as if after this rook h8 i am taking the queen back but uh, after takes rook h8 check black has bishop f8 there is no mate right now there is no fire so you cannot just play and win no you have to you have to uh, the flame is little bit dim you have to make sure that you cover it so that it doesn't extinguish and keep more oil, keep the wood burning, and finally it will be a big fire, as you can see in the game. Okay, uh, this is not my own invention. As I said, this is uh, again Alexis Shirov. So, this is a little bit of theory which I knew. So, white took on e4, black took on e4. And the whole point of queen sacrifice is all the pieces are stuck. And just imagine that. Uh, if you give black some three moves, like say, knight c6, bishop d7, queen e7, long castle, bam. <laughs> Completely lost position for white. This is nothing. But the reason black cannot do this is white has all the time some initiative going on. And you cannot, this king is a problem. And you cannot castle long that easily. It is not possible. And uh, some squares are also weak. So white... Uh, it's a very natural follow-up. I played knight to e2. My idea is to go knight c3 and knight e4 and come back with this. And uh, if black is not prepared, he is completely <laughs> little shock. Like, what to do next? You are up a queen just for the rook. There are many moves to go like b6, bb7, there is knight e7, there is queen e7, there is queen d5. Okay. But actually the correct move is to play c5. This is the theory and it goes like B, C, 5 and it's an imbalanced and unclear position. Uh, chances for white nevertheless, but it's fun to play. But uh, my opponent uh, naturally didn't understand like exactly what is going on and he played the most C, 6. Maybe he's trying to control some on D, 5 and create the screen on A, 5. Okay, but this is not the need of the position. I calmly played knight to c3. My idea is to go knight e4. Okay, my opponent played the move on to g3. 
this is little I don't know what is he up to I took and this looks as if uh, he has ruined my wall structure but actually he has helped me to create the F file in future so this is the file which I wanted see when uh, you you catch your opponent off guard and when there is no clear plan these things happen so you cannot blame black for what he has done or what he is doing because black doesn't know exactly what to do I know this because I have studied this lines little bit in detail so I know this stuff but if black is playing fresh over the board it's very hard to play from black and now suddenly playing g3 and what to do next he tries to create an escape scare with king d7 okay this shows that your opponent is not well prepared anyways even though this is the situation it's not necessary that white is winning white has to create that flame into fire so what will you play from white white to play okay long castle makes sense nothing wrong with it whoops long castle and even knight e4 it's a possible move but uh, when you see this king little bit you have to strike and uh, I played a very good move and I played pawn to g6 I just want this king to stay on e8 I don't want this to hover around and go to the safety square I don't I don't want it so I played g6 it's a good move it's a human move black has to take naturally and threatening g7 so he takes and I play rook at 7 check this is my whole idea of playing g6 and I give a check he cannot play b7 I can play bishop g5 and I can win so he played king to e8 okay now naturally I took the pawn and I'm threatening knight f6 sort of a checkmate he has to sacrifice the queen you are in trouble no doubt about it but uh, again it's hard to give advice I think white is clearly better now because now my, my clear plan is to go bd3 I want to go long castle I want to bring my rook to f1 or h1 so it's, it's a really really good position uh, so uh, my opponent played queen to a5 check mm, fine I just drop my bishop back to d2 I just kicked the queen and he played bishop b4 okay I just played c3 kick back and he go bishop to e7 and uh, I just calmly drop my bishop back to d3 and I just want to hit this g6 see I'm, I don't care I am see can you see that white is playing as if he's uh, his upper queen or something he's playing as if he doesn't care I mean I don't find a queen on my chessboard but white doesn't care because this king is so stuck and his pieces don't have a good square just imagine knight coming to a6 bishop coming to d5 and you castling long okay this is this is fine but it's not it's not easy to get this okay i played bishop d3 he played knight to d7 and i just castle long i don't care about this b2 pawn okay he played knight to f8 attacking this rook fine i just supported this see i'm playing very calm game because i know this flame is going to get bigger so that belief will come more practice you do and more sort of positions you solve more patterns you solve and slowly slowly you will have a belief that this flame will go into fire okay he took on a2 uh, this is a very random move I just play rook f1 and he, he went screen back to a5 and uh, situation is a little bit tense now I think uh, I can just play rook f7 did he play queen a5 or he played knight e7 yeah I, I think he played queen f5 now I just played rook e7 uh, and now I'm just threatening this whoops this this thing and this bishop has no square to go and after this this is mate so naturally not this but he plays queen to e8 now can you find the move for white very cool and calm 
very beautiful uh, move from white if you can find it this is a very small cute game where you just win okay i think you just play knight f6 check he takes and you take and now i'm threatening rook e7 calling my check he played knight e7 i played check he played this and i give uh, and i played bishop f6 yeah and he took and uh, i gave a check wait something i missed it yeah wait in this position uh oh sorry first i played uh bishop g5 this is a very beautiful move i played i don't have the notation by the way this game is played two years ago and i'm i'm just trying to uh made uh, some nice database and i found this idea of playing bishop g5 and this is game over now i'm threatening rook e7 followed by rook f7 and uh, this game is over he doesn't have anything he played something like b5 and now i think uh, just i i played rook at 7 very ruthless move we are yeah, playing rook g8 and rook h8 okay now he realized that he is out of time and after this rook g7 i think he designed the game so uh it's a nice uh, small idea of how to create a flame into fire naturally i mean my opponent didn't play the best he was basically more of a surprised with my idea of queen sacrifice where i just sacrificed the queen for a rook and there was no initiate mate there was no fire but there was a flame and that flame i tried to protect it i put more oil i put more wood and this fire became born for the this design so again a small illustration how to create flame into fire this series will go long i am going to show first my own games maybe from the older ones like how to create a small how to create fire from a very small flame and how to create a flame from a normal position like you need to have the courage basically first you need to have a lot of courage so that let us go back oops sorry yeah so i played h4 and after h5 you need to have that courage to play g5 uh you cannot play like shivering your hands and playing at g5 you need to play bluntly h into g5 with the whole intention of going forward and believe in your attack this is how the flame will be converted so thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next episode thank you